You have probably watched tons of videos about the new Samsung One UI update, but here I will show you the more interesting features, the hidden ones that came with Android Pie update on the Galaxy Note 9, and that will also work on the S9 except for just one that uses the S Pen. And by the way, this is the official Samsung update, and I'm based in France so those in Europe should be getting the update sometime these couple weeks. For the other basic One UI new features like dark mode, the new easy to use design and navigation gesture, I think other videos cover that well. So without further ado, let's hit number one, and it is about screen rotation. A very useful feature when you disable screen rotation from the notification panel because maybe you're laying down and don't want the display to rotate on accidental movements but still want to watch and see some content in landscape, well this small icon will pop up when you rotate the phone, so it is suggesting you rotate the screen for only that specific app. When you click it, that app will rotate in landscape, the rest of the apps will still run in normal mode. You will get this suggestion every time you rotate the phone. There is no setting to activate this, it will be automatically activated when you disable screen rotation. The second awesome feature is lift to wake up the phone, and combining it with another feature I will tell you about in a minute, you get a cool way to unlock the phone. If you head to the settings, advanced features, motion and gestures, you will find the lift to wake option. When you activate it, you will be able to turn on the display by lifting the phone from the table or getting it out from your pocket without pressing any buttons. I combine this with an intelligent scan option that allows the scan to be activated automatically when the screen turns on. This way when I lift the phone, it will be automatically unlocked, a very useful combination. The third feature is about locking the home screen layout which means you will not accidentally move the apps or folders from their places, or to delete them from the home screen. To activate this, go to the settings, display, home screen, and activate lock home screen layout. This way you will never worry about losing apps from the home screen or somebody else messing with it. And the fourth one is about the always on display. You already know that you can activate or disable it, but this time Samsung allows you to activate it and only see it when you tap the display while it was off. It comes helpful when you sometimes need those always on information but don't want to drain the battery. This way you only tap the screen like this to see them, without turning on the whole display. It will be turned off after about 30 seconds. You can find this in the settings, lock screen, always on display, enter there then activate it, then go to display mode and choose the tap to show option. The next feature will only work with the Note 9 because it uses the S Pen, and it is about using multiple S Pens with the Note 9, because by default, if you try to use another S Pen other than yours, it will not work. Like you're seeing here, my S Pen is inserted in the Note 9, I borrowed the Note 8 S Pen and I'm not able to use it, there is simply no interactions with the display. But when you head to the settings, advanced features, S Pen, scroll down to use multiple S Pens and activate it, you will be then able to use a second S Pen on your phone. I think it is not a very useful feature but it is there if you need it. The next feature is pinning an app. It means opening an app and pinning it to the screen. This way it will not be accidentally closed, because no button on the phone will close it. This will prevent others from using other features outside the app. Also messages and calls are blocked when an app is pinned. In order to close the app, you need to press and hold simultaneously the back and recent app soft buttons. To activate this feature, go to the settings, biometrics and security, other security settings and scroll down to pin windows. After that, if you want any app to be pinned, just open it for normal use, then press the recent app button, press the app icon at the top and choose pin this app. Last but not least is kids home. 
This is a home screen for kids that you can simply activate from the notification panel. You get a colored screen with kids friendly icons and only apps and games designed for kids. You can for example add specific phone numbers for your kid to call, like yours for example. And they are easy to access and use with this interface. So this was the list of the most interesting hidden features on the new Android Pie update. Hope this was helpful, leave a big like if it was and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and catch you guys in the next one.